Hey, you down here? Okay, back with another video. It's not actually not a live stream this time. <clears throat> I'm gonna save this one for later and upload it later, probably. Um, let me see. I'm gonna switch over to. Well, I'll just show you what I'm doing here. Uh, <clears throat> I got this for uh, my mom for Christmas, and I'm gonna get it out and see if it works. I charged it up for well over. I don't know, uh, 12, 24 hours, not, probably not 24 hours, but he's supposed to charge it at least eight hours, so I charged it overnight, you know, and then unplugged it, and it's been unplugged for at least 24 hours, maybe longer, so we'll see how, <clears throat> I guess we'll get a ch idea of how, I don't, well, there's not any way to tell exactly how, you know, much power it's lost, I mean, um, well, there's ways, but uh, I'm not going to take it apart take the battery out and i mean i didn't ch i didn't check it before with a multimeter so i can't check it again now but anyway it's you know it's brand new so hopefully everything's good i just want to make sure it works don't want to break it before uh give it to her <laughs> okay so um let's see let's do cams one and two and <clears throat> Go ahead and switch to the wireless mic so I can go over there. I can go over there. And yeah, let's pull and, them. Yeah, let's okay. Pull them. okay. There it is. Let's try there to find it is. Let's yeah, try it's to find different. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Noticing. I was just noticing my uh, SM58 <clears throat> in my. Uh, I don't have to, any way to check, and when I'm not doing a live stream, see, I use my live stream to check and see that my audio's working and everything. I can see the meters, but sometimes you can see the meters jumping and it's not actually working. It's happened. So uh, <clears throat> I can always punch that button on my laptop and check my live stream. So that's one nice thing about doing a live stream. But, so I have to trust that it's working. Uh, the delay is still there, it comes and goes. Uh, I made it. When it is working well, I made it work a little better by putting uh, 120 milliseconds of delay in my SM58. Didn't it was it didn't really seem to need it in the wireless mic, so I didn't do that. But I thought I would. Uh, let's see. Let's just go back to the camera two because if I did, I was thinking I was going to aim this camera at, over that way, but at least be looking at my back. So let's just show this <clears throat> like that. We'll get it out and uh, it's gonna, yeah, well, we'll do our best. Okay, so uh, we've had it out already a couple of times. So, uh, not enough so that it, not enough so that it's not new anymore, though. Let's see. There we go. <clears throat> don't like these foam things. They leave junk everywhere. Let's see, I'll put this manual. Well, I need to get the manual out. I was thinking I would. Yeah, let's look at it. The little white chunks that, that show up everywhere. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it's pink, which she likes pink, so she's kind of pink all over the house. That ought to be a good thing for her. Okay, uh, go to the end of the scope. I've got it over here, so let's see if I can look at things with it. Yeah, I think we can do that. It's not as exactly turned the way it was last time I used it, but I tried to cinch it down on the on the tripod where it would stay straight, and it did for until I moved it a few times. Anyway, I, at least it's straight enough that I can well, I can turn this on an angle and get it straight. Okay, so it has a remote, <coughs> and uh, what do we want here? On, off, I need to get that thing out and look at it. On, off, uh, button, stop, and uh, just route fixed point, uh, forward, right, left. Yeah, that's what I was, I didn't really pay much attention. To it. Uh, forward, right, and left. Yeah, backwards. So if it gets stuck, you might be able to get it unstuck without, uh, you know, getting up and going after the thing. Eight, automatically backward. Nine, adju uh, adjusting running speed. Uh, that's kind of weird because those are 
There's like some Chinese, oh, I guess those are symbols, but they look like Chinese or something. <clears throat> and then turn off after 10 minutes, turn off after 20 minutes, turn off after 30 minutes. Oh, okay. So you do all that with the remote. One thing she does do is read instructions. She likes that, so she'll probably be able to understand it by doing that. Those letters are so little that I can't read them even with the endoscope on there. Let's go get, <clears throat> yeah, let's go get the, uh, I'm going to go get the remote. <coughs> well, it's in here. I haven't taken it out of, there's a little brush. And I did, have already did a video on the thing itself, so I'm not going to do a, um, it's not a, this ain't an unboxing video. This is a first startup video. I don't know if I can, it's made, it said it's 60 dBs, which is not exactly quiet, so sound-wise, that's the sound level it's supposed to put out, so uh, I may, <coughs> I may not be able to run it for just a second. I wanted to try it out. I want to try it out at least a little bit. Okay, now let's get this over here under the, see if any of this makes sense, the instructions make sense to me. <clears throat> okay, um, ouch, banging my elbow, okay, I don't know how, where I can put it, and have, I don't, can't have them both under there at the same time, okay, yeah, right, left, okay, uh, speed, got some symbols there, oh, and there's a bunch of buttons with, Oh, okay. I guess those other buttons. Yeah. <clears throat> nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They're <laughs> they're not reading. Notice it's one, two, okay, three, four, five, six, left, right, left, right. Well, okay, it is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I see. It jumps down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> okay. Of course, I would probably go one, top to bottom, one, two, three, four, five, and then top to bottom, you know, so and so. But anyway, just trying to figure out what they're saying. But there's nothing on those other buttons, so you're going to have to memorize that, and that ain't happening for none of us. So, But these are things that you may not do too often. So, Number eight, automatically backward. That's one you'd probably want. Oh, you turn that on, and it'll automatically go backwards. I guess if it bumps into anything. Just running speed, turn off after, oh, okay, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, okay. And we got one for pick, anything that'll pick up, since we've got a robot back, we need a robot to pick up the remote and give it back to us when we drop it. So, yeah, there's nothing. I got my little magnifying glass and uh, looked at it. it there is definitely no instruct, no words on those buttons. That's pretty unusual, actually. Now then, let's see. <clears throat> and there's some diagrams of it. I won't go over those in the pictures. I can just show the thing itself. Um, uh, just, I can't. My legs on my tripod are in the way. Okay, main mainframe machine use method. Mainframe machine use method. They think this is a mainframe computer? Is this a server? <clears throat> Pull up the main power switch to one. Pull up, and it's a push button. I already saw that. Through that well, now there may be a pull up somewhere. I don't think so, though. See where the little hand on the top bottom right says auto? Anyway, to one, turn on the power switch. I'll look and see if there's a pull-up. The main machine will... Uh, okay, let me um, <clears throat> take my magnifying glass over there. i got to look at the machine while I do this. I can't, rem I, I can't remember what I read long enough to... I don't re <clears throat> Well, for one thing, I don't remember the last time I looked it over, if I saw what they're talking about or not. And... Uh, Got the little brushes that you screw on there. I do remember that. And 
got a filter on, inside of there that you clean. That's one reason why I got this because it has brushes to you know beat the carpet, and it's got a lot wider uh, suction area too than a lot of the others. And uh, the sticker on it. Tension, please. Winding in time. What? Intelligent sweeping robot. Model FR, input voltage DC 19 volts, 1000 milliamps, which is 1 amp. Battery 14.8 volts, 220 milliamp. Milliamp hour, I think it is. Lithium battery power, 22 watts. And what I was wondering is this little red sticker. <clears throat> Attention, please clear the winding in time. Oh, I guess, I don't know if they're talking about the brush and everything, or I guess so, because it doesn't look like you can get that cover that it's stuck onto. I think that was just a convenient place. I mean, I'm sure you could get it off, but oh yeah, there's a, a little, you can get that brush out. There's a deal there, a little release, but I don't want it out, of course. But yeah, I don't see any other switches. <clears throat> it's got a baby buggy bunker, baby buggy bumper right there, and all those white things stuck to it from the, it's got, and this has a mop function, so it has, uh, it has some mops there, <laughs> another filter, and that. I don't know what that's for. I wonder if that's part of the mopping feature or something. I've, been, I've seen that ever since the first time I opened it, and I didn't really register with me as, you know, where do you put that thing? It got the batteries for the remote, <clears throat> so I guess I'll... Put those in there in a minute. I just remembered. I need to do that. I guess I can do it now. Oh, there's a switch on the side. That's what they were saying. They said pull up switch. Instead of turn on or flip the switch or whatever. <clears throat> Actually, a long time ago, that was the way they used to talk about switches. Pull up switch. And it probably was because back in the days, the toggle switches were really common. And you might... Up for on and down for off, you know. It might make sense to say pull up the switch. But uh, I know I've noticed that somebody once in a while I hear someone says that, you know. Uh, maybe I'm going to say English people, you know, from England say that sometimes on videos when I'm watching them. So uh, get these batteries out. And uh, probably didn't get that cut enough yet. To, that's, you know how that plastic is, it doesn't want to come off. But the battery wants to shoot off everywhere. Drop the plastic in the floor. I don't want it trying to vacuum that up. We'll put it where it belongs in the trash. Okay, let's see. I can see the spring, so let's make sure. Yeah, positive, negative on the spring, and positive on the... And the picture, of course, shows you which way it goes. I do forget those things nowadays. <laughs> which one's which now? <clears throat> now? I've been using battery stuff since I was a little kid. I'll just put it back in there for now. Let's see. Well, let's get it out. I want to have it quick access to it in case I get it turned on and need to do it, tell it to quit doing stuff I don't want it to. Pull up the main power switch. Okay. To one. There is no one, or it's just on and off. Let's see. Oh, I see. 
So I guess that uh, there's O, and I guess they're going to call that one. You don't usually see that. You, uh, that looks like it could be a one. It looks more like an I, but. Okay. And uh, the main machine will be a beep. Will be a beep sound. Indicator light is always blue. Uh, if no operation within one minute, it's automatic. Automa automatically enter the sleep mode. Oh, okay. Press auto, automatic cleaning button. Enter the automatic cleaning mode and the program do automatic cleaning according to the system planning path. Then the indicator flashes blue light. Okay, and like I said, somewhere on these instructions it says to charge it eight hours before you uh, when you plug in the charger it blinks red and then it turns blue and it actually it said I you know usually things don't turn blue until they're done charging well either it was already charged pretty good because it it turned blue like within five minutes or it doesn't work that way I'm not sure uh, charging method there we go connect the uh, output terminal of the power adapter and this does not have a dock it's got a regular wall wart that you with a barrel connector that you plug in which at first I thought that wasn't too good but then I thought well it's one less thing to easy cheap thing to replace and uh, <clears throat> one less thing for it to malfunction on you know so and, and well this is a hundred and thirty nine dollars with a discount is hundred twenty two dollars and you, you and, and it you know it, it has the better brushes has the, the brushes in the bottom and and it has a remote and a water and it mops so if it works then it's a way better value than any any other one I saw okay okay let's see connect the output terminal I already did this to the main unit charging inlet and if the connection is successful the main unit will sound and the indicator will be red and flashing I don't remember if it made a noise but I guess it did the flashing charging the machine when flashing charging the machine will sound three times and the indicator light turns blue the first charging time must be more than eight hours let's see watch the electric shock please wipe your hands before operation wipe your hands <laughs> show somebody plugging it in <clears throat> okay Boy, the, uh, the the vernacular and the English translation sure is strange on these things these days. You you would think they'd be able to find somebody that you know had kind of a natural <laughs> that was an English speaker, you know, that knew how things were actually supposed to be worded. Okay, so uh, makes it hard to catch on to the instructions and it's got a full diagram of its uh, specifications and stuff on the back so the remote is the number one thing I'm going to need on off button speed okay yeah on off speed it's play pause button is what it is for what's normal you know the normal symbols that Okay, that's the play pause button is on off. Stop. Where is stop? Two. Okay, the one on the right is the stop button. It, and it says speed on there, and it, then under that it has two Chinese symbols. So the speed is actually the stop button. That's really weird. I didn't catch on to that a minute ago when I was under the... You might have saw that. If you've got a better memory than me, you might have figured that out when I was doing it on the endoscope. And uh, three, just to route, okay. Only thing is, I guess the only way you can tell what route it's going is by, there's no, you know, screen, readout screen or anything. So I guess you watch it go and see where it's, what it's going to do. I was really worried about them. I didn't know really that much about them. Oh, there's another button. Oh, that opens up the, that button opens up the, uh, 
back of it or something, the dirt bay or something. Yeah. Well, I, there's a water tank on it too, there's, but I'm not going to open that up. Anyway, <clears throat> since I've already charged it, I want to try it, but I, it's, it may be too loud for me to leave it on. That's the thing. So, uh, I'm, I'll quit from me. I don't want to familiar my eyes myself with the uh, remote again, uh, again right now, and then have me just have me just forget. So which is what I'll do. Now this may, if that's the water tank, that's really weird. I don't see any instructions about a water tank. I think maybe this is the, uh, where you put those, that looks like it might be Velcro. Uh, 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 I've never seen it before, but I'll get over here and show you. On the endoscope, I need to just try and wipe that off. I just didn't, I didn't do it because I figured it would just all get back on there again, but uh, this, you know how this white stuff comes off, but that is rough, like Velcro, but it's, oh yeah, it does feel like, it's, I thought it was really, really hard, but it's just like regular Velcro, you know, and uh, <clears throat> so uh, I guess that, uh, well, I'll wipe this off later. But yeah, I don't see instructions on how to use that part. Oh, okay. I guess when you're mopping, you take this out. That's like taking it apart. <laughs> oh, it just snaps in. That is the water tank, and you snap it in. And you put that, uh, that's how those uh, mop, these pads are shaped. So, uh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's the hole where you put the water in. So that's all the water you put in there. And I guess you can put soapy water or whatever you want in there. But a little, Mr. A little bit of floor clean, Mr. Clean or whatever it is you use on the floor. But I'm not going to get, I don't want to get it all. You know, I'm not going to do anything like that. I, this is nighttime, and it's the only time I could really do this without somebody, you know, I didn't want her to come in and see it ahead of time. So, uh, that's, <clears throat> I'm, uh, that's why I'm, well, that and I've just been up at night lately, but, um, I'm going to pull this out of the view. So I'm going to move my little table. So that I can set it down on the floor and I'll aim, try to aim, aim both cameras at the floor. And do that. And by the way, <coughs> oh, in the scope. Great. I'm on the endoscope. Okay. Let's do cameras one and two so that I won't have, you'll at least be tell, tell what I've got, what I'm up to in here. Dang it, messed up. I thought I was showing you stuff. I do that all the time. I'm just not smart enough for two, more than one scene, I guess. Now my, uh, move this table around the corner. <clears throat> and uh, I've, got a little, I've got a plan in my head here how I might be able to do this. But uh, <clears throat> um, I don't know how well <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to do. It uh, my cameras are going to do. You know, Wi-Fi cameras have so much, such a lag on them. Okay, now I don't. I have much else I can do. I don't have another way to do it, so. Uh, sometimes when I switch off of them and then go back, they get better, so. I guess my, my chair needs to stay up here. I can't reach. I gotta be able to sit down and adjust stuff on the, uh, on the computer, on the video. 
So, um, let me go to the desktop for a minute. Let's check. Oh, yeah, I need to close this. I want to make sure my video was working. Okay, yeah, everything looks okay. So now I'll go back to both cameras. <clears throat> now, I thought what I was going to do is, uh, yeah, I guess uh, right there is fine. And uh, let's see, how far do I have? Doesn't go all that far out. That's what I was thinking of. So, uh, oddly, you can see under the, <laughs> under this here, you can see where this stool is, so. Uh, I'll put it right here. So maybe it'll stop it from running over that way. It might, I don't know if it's going to get away from me. I don't know what it's going to do. Let's see. Yeah, now I'm going to shove the chair back again. That's what I'll do. This chair is terrible. It fights me. Okay. And yeah, I have in the background there my... Uh, little small vacuum <clears throat> thought I might uh, actually I got I I thought if <laughs> if anybody if she heard it said so she would I could she, she would see that and so I would hide this and let her see that and she'd think I was using that and actually I thought I might use it for a minute but I don't know we'll see <clears throat> to compare the volume levels but so uh, Okay, doesn't matter. I guess I really do want to try and uh, wipe this white junk off of here because it's get well, it's get you know the more the more you touch those things, the more this white junk comes off. But some of it that's already loose is. Uh, okay, some of it that's already loose is uh, I, th I, I can't think. I'm losing my brain here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't guess it's going to get any better of the, of the lag. I, w I was hoping it would not get so bad. But uh, maybe if I go to cam 2 by itself, it'll get a little better for a minute. No, it's way behind. Cam 1. Now that's not so bad. Let's go back to cam two again. There. So uh, maybe it'll do better. I'll go to cam one and two again. Maybe it's not handling having both of them. Oh, now we're okay. So let's hurry up and turn it on while we can. No wait. Okay, I'm gonna try to go to cam two by itself again. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. It's a better view of it anyway. Cam one. They do this, they, now see that one's right on, but it won't be the next time I go back to it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on, get a remote. Well, I think I'll be better off just trying the buttons, okay. I need to be out of its way, I guess. Let's see. Now the blue light comes on, and uh, Oh, I guess you've got to turn it on with the blue light first. Hey, there we go. It's not vacuuming. Okay, now it went under there and it's trying to get out. Hmm, cool. Does pretty good at getting out. Ooh, it rolled up over that. 
tripod. Can you believe it? Can, okay, it hung up. Now, how do you back it up? It, I got it. It get it tilted. It, it's in a tilt mode now. Okay. Uh, I just stopped. Okay. Well, that's good to know. But it could go. I was worried it wouldn't be able to go from the hard floor to the carpet, but it can do that if it can go up over that thing. That's pretty good because I've seen some of the videos that couldn't have done that. Some, some, uh, not two hundred fifty dollar ones, but like four fifty and six fifty dollar ones that couldn't do that. I can't believe some of them are so expensive these days. I didn't know that. I thought they were like two hundred to four fifty or something, but they're like the popular brands are like. Two ninety nine to thousand dollars. Okay, on off stop. That's the thing is. That, oh, okay. Backwards, forwards. Stop. Just route. I don't know how you turn the vacuum on yet. Unless it's supposed to be on right now and it's not. That would be bad. I'm still trying to figure out what's what. Yeah, first I want to see. Let's see. The remote even working? See, I hadn't been, I wasn't hitting the remote. I was just, uh, so I think I'll have to get it down from there manually because it won't, I think it turned itself off because it got up so high. Uh, automatically backwards, that's number eight. It's already on automatically backwards, so I hit a bunch of buttons and it didn't didn't do nothing. So now I'm kind of worried that I got it out of whack. I got that stupid white stuff all over me. Let's see what happens when you set it. I'm gonna set it like this this time so that it won't have more of a place to go. There we go. So. Oh, there we go. Just hit that button. Oh, it's going in a little circle. Surely it's not vacuuming like that, is it? Let's see. I made it go backwards. Yeah, you can drive it. Oops. I wasn't fast enough. Now it's not in automatic mode anymore. Oh, there we go. Definitely need these instructions.
doesn't stop. <coughs> Oops. I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching and it got up on that. Got up on the tripod again. I forgot that it's spinning half of its time out of the camera view too. Okay. Uh, yeah, once you do that, you gotta. I don't know if this remote works right. It doesn't start and stop. Let's see. On off, that doesn't do anything. <coughs> and uh, start and stop. <coughs> Button did anything. <coughs> now it doesn't want to go. <coughs> But the backup button works. I think the wheels got jacked up. But you can hit it. You can hit that blue button and stop it. Looks okay. It's already got hair in the brush, of course. I didn't want to get it dirty. <clears throat> but, uh, oh, I didn't see those little metal things there. Part of the sensors or something. It's been picking up. It's got all kinds of dust inside of that filter. So it's been working. It's cleaning. Okay. It's not near as loud as I thought, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is move this camera so that uh, it can go right there. Cause I actually want it. I want it to clean right there. <laughs> so. Uh, Kind of worried about it though because it's not. Oh. I kept hitting those buttons on the remote. I must have turned it to slow speed. Where's my magnifying glass? It wants to clean my feet now. Speed number nine. Actually, that would probably be a more efficient cleaning speed and less likely to run up over things and get stuck. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, main brushes on it. It won't stop though. But it'll back up. Oh. The o you got to hit the OK button. The OK button number 3 adjust route fix point. These buttons don't do what they say. At all. <clears throat> Okay, the OK button stops it. Well, that's really ridiculous. I thought I read something <clears throat> on the reviews that the remote was did not do what it said. But here, I, what I forgot was one of the most important things. It's dirty now, so I may as well just use it <clears throat> and <laughs> clean it up. 
I want to make sure it works. I mean, who wants to just turn it off while I work on it? Okay, so uh, there's our little stool. Yeah, I forgot to put the little front brushes. They're, they're supposed to throw everything towards this brush. I mean, well, it makes, you know, when it gets up close to stuff, oh, they just snap on. I thought they screwed on. So when it gets up close to stuff, it, uh, you know, throws it towards the, the main brush. There we go. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean the heck out of it. It's gonna look used, that, but you know, I hate that, but even if it's not completely clean, when I get <clears throat> give it to her, at least I will know that it works. And that's the most important thing. Okay. Oh, turn it on. At least it's not so loud. There we go. It's got kind of a weird pattern, that's for sure. Oh, it's kind of going in a circle. Actually, it was going too fast a while ago to really do any good. It's going in much a wider circle. Now, you can interrupt it and make it go. Make it go other ways, but I actually want to see how it does anyway. See how good it picks up. It adjusts in slight, slight adjustments. Pretty cool. Goes under the bed. <laughs> Our big vacuum won't go that far under the bed. <clears throat> I think it's gonna might be all right. It's about to get stuck. It already got stuck. it sometimes <clears throat> of course you're not going to be vacuuming around that thing all the time anyway so and if you hit that turner it'll turn so like in here right now I want that area right there done so I think I'm going to drive it for a bit I'll let it hit that and see what it does Whoops, it turns quick. I wouldn't try to drive it as a rule. I would just let it do its thing. If you just let it keep on running, it's going to end up doing, you know, it's going to end up getting, it, it, it is sort of, when it bumps into something, it makes it seem kind of random. I better back, try and back it up. There. You get, if you got junk in the way, then you better be driving. If you just let it keep bumping into that truck, truck, uh, Mic stand, it will get stuck, but it'll go all the way up on it. That's what surprises me. I, uh, I saw a test of three or four of them, and uh, fairly expensive ones, and only one of them could go up that high on something. I can't remember which way's which. When it's pointing one way, you know you, your remotes. You need to turn your remote with it, I guess, so you can know which way to go. Yeah, my floor need cleaning bad anyway, so there's let's see if I can get that little white thing there. 
something, it's a piece of that stuff. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> it's a pretty good toy. It's not the most powerful vacuum, but you know, if you just let it keep on running, I think it'll end up doing a fairly good job, hopefully. I would think that it might do pretty good on the, the, the hard floors too. Now it's kind of hung up in there. Didn't know which way to go. I don't know what other patterns you can do. I hit the OK button. Oh, well, I hit it and it started doing a different pattern or something. So, uh, now that's the one thing I don't understand is what's it, how do you operate this remote really for all the things it says it can do? On off, it says number one is on off and that's the play pause button. It don't make it do that. The number two is supposed to be stop. And it, it doesn't, it did do something once when I hit it. I've been just kept busy trying to keep it from getting hung up. I, I haven't got to try anything but left and right and backwards. And adjusting number three, what is number three? Well, that's the okay button. That adjusts route fixed point. Well, it did do that just now once, but what it seemed like all it was doing was start and stop. And then, you know, left and right, forward and back. I didn't try forward on it. Well, yeah, I did once when it kind of got stuck. And that works. Then uh, number eight, which is the, uh, <clears throat> of course, you don't know what I'm talking about right now, but uh, these buttons that aren't labeled, these five buttons, looks like a domino. <clears throat> it's like a five on a domino. Um, automatically backwards, adjust running speed. Oh, okay. Turn off after 10 minutes, turn off after 20 minutes. So eight and nine I would use, well, I would use them all, but yeah, turn off for 10, 20, and 30 minutes. So evidently it's supposed to be able to run that long, which is good. It would, <clears throat> I mean, if you let it loose in a room, just let it go, then uh, it should, uh, <clears throat> be able to I'm gonna go let's see I don't want it running into my door making noise let's see if that stool will stop it so uh, I'm gonna try to let it run up and down over here on the other side now for a while I don't know if there's much way I can tell exactly what it did, but let's see. There we go. See that 
that OK button doesn't do nothing but just turn it on and off. Stop it. Except for it did make it do a different scene once. Yeah, it starts going in its circles and everything. Oh, the forward button does make it just go forward. Trying to get back over here in this spot and let it run around over there now. I'm trying to try out these other buttons, but I can't remember what they're supposed to do long enough to do it. I'm helping it some. Oops, it turned when I didn't expect it to. Come on, it's stuck now. I'm, it's, <laughs> I'm trying to give it instructions and it's trying to do its own program. Hmm. Sure it's getting dirty. Okay, see if you got enough room, it'll go in a circle. I would kind of prefer it went straight up and down. I don't know how to really make it do that. I think it maybe always likes to make left turns. Yeah. Yep, it makes a left turn every time. I mean, I guess that's just the simplest way to do it. <clears throat> I can't resist with the remote in my hand to not make it go where I think it ought to go. It is picking stuff up. Though. If you don't stop it from hitting that thing, it'll get stuck. <coughs> And it has to hit that bumper thing to turn. If it hits any other part of it, then it doesn't turn. <coughs> I think it's pretty cool <coughs> if it just lasts. And it's not very loud. I said it was 60 dBs, but that would... Um, it's not the same as the speaker turned up to 60 dBs, I'll tell you that. Now, I'm an old sound guy, so when I hear 60 dBs, I think that's pretty darn loud. <laughs> or a fan. A, a 30 dB fan in a computer is too loud for me in my room. I can't stand it. <clears throat> um, at least I can't now. When I was years ago, um, I I bought the cheaper fans and they were that well they were that loud and I could stand them for and I don't know I guess my ears are more sensitive now. But um, let's go here and get in front of the camera I guess. 
Okay, so, uh... Sometimes when you stop it and then start it back up, it starts moving really slow. I thought it was hung up at first. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it, 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 it's going at a much slower pace than it was before, but it's, and I think I did that by mashing on the buttons, trying to see what they would do. I couldn't, I got tired of trying to, f well, they don't, like I said, I don't really know what one and two are really supposed to do. I know once I hit number two and it seemed to change the program, but it's supposed to be on off, number one. <clears throat> let me put it up here. Oh, okay, let me get on the, uh, I think I'll put it up in the box or something because I'm worried that, well, it's late, but I don't know what my mom's up to. She's a night owl, so I heard she'll come in here and sit in the middle of the floor and go, what's that? <clears throat> so uh, let, me, uh, let me put it over in the box, and then I'll get on the endoscope. I need to turn it off anyway. No sense in running down the battery. Okay, so I'm going to put it in there upside down because it's dirty. I think I've done enough uh, real-time tests, enough vacuuming tests anyway, so. It works. Evidently, I see lots of stuff being, that have gotten picked up, so. Uh, <clears throat> In the scope and cam one. Um, okay, what I kept talking about was that button. Uh, it says speed on there. I don't know if that'll help or hurt. Uh, speed and uh, the pause play button. And what they really do. Uh, pause play says on off. Speed is stop mode. Uh, and that, uh, uh, well, now that could be switching between 10 minutes. Maybe it's switching between 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. But 10, 11, and 12 is supposed to do that. Turn off after, you know. So, uh, but when I hit that on off button, I can't see it doing anything. So I guess we'll just have to keep messing with it till we figure out how to operate it. I did the uh, um, can't figure out which way to turn it. <clears throat> okay, now these other buttons, I'll just go down there. I can't show them all at once. The domino buttons are the ones that are A, 9, 10, 11, and 12, automatically backwards. I don't know, I, I really couldn't think quick enough to hit that one. All I could do is hit forward, uh, the, the, you know, just like on a VCR or something, or a DVD, forward, right, left, and back. Uh, I mean, those do what they're supposed to. And then the OK button, that's the one that was starting and stopping it. But once, I hit it once and it just changed, seemed to change its program, and then hit it again and it stopped it. <clears throat> so it's kind of, but then one time I hit something and it didn't do anything until I hit the OK button. Then it did what I had just hit. So I, all I know to do is get it in a bigger room and uh, like the living room or our kitchen or something with less stuff in the way to get it hung up and keep hitting those buttons so you figure it all out. That's all I could do because because I can't read this paper and hit a button before it's way too late, you know. But uh, anyway, it works. And uh, <clears throat> I'm glad about that. So, uh, 
And I showed, let's see, did I show any of this before? <clears throat> if you're wondering what my endoscope's sitting on, it's just sitting where I keep it, just on my TRS-80 <laughs> computer. But, uh, so there's a voltage and battery capacity. Okay, we'll do it like that. Voltage, 14.8 volts, that's DC in the height, power, 22 watts. Noise 60 dB, see. Ammeter 32 cm. Working time 120 to 150 minutes. Well, that's good. Remote control 10 meters, which is less than 10 feet. I'm starting to learn a little bit about some of those measurements because this is all they're using anymore, you know. Battery capacity 2,000 milliamp hours. I don't really know how in my, you know, I don't use enough of these lithium or any kind of batteries to know. I mean, I used my drill batteries for years, but just used them until they ran down and put another one in it and charged that one. I didn't, you know, I didn't compare. I knew that it depended on if I wasn't working it too hard, it might last almost an hour. If I was working it hard, about 10 minutes or 30 minutes, you know. But anyway, lithium battery, I know, that, I know what a lithium ion battery is and nickel cadmium and stuff like that. I know more about that kind of thing than I do about the amp hours and all that stuff. Oh, I thought it said bicycle. Battery cycle, one thousand, one, two, three, yeah, cycles. Hmm. It's not very long, really. I mean, it take a while, but that's a thousand charges and run down, you know, charge, run down and charge. Uh, Sounds like a year or two. Kind of a couple of years. Well, you don't, I mean, I use, you know, probably not going to use this any more often than you would a regular vacuum, so. I don't know your usage. Your mileage may vary. Uh, dust box capacity, 370 mil. Well, it ain't real big, I'll tell you that. I was just looking at it. First charging time, <clears throat> eight hours. Normal charging time, three to four hours. Oh, okay. So there we go. Um, there is one thing I want to know. I didn't. I guess I didn't. Where is the? Is the brand of the thing even on this manual anywhere? It is not. I'll show you what it is, and then I guess I'll put it. I've got it. Well, it's on the table in the box, but I'll probably show how dirty it got. Why don't I do that now? Yeah, I'll do that before I go off and. Uh, I was going to go get on the internet and show you more about its specs, but that's not as interesting as what does the thing really do? And how dirty does it get when you use it? <clears throat> so, uh, do it that way. But yeah, this thing is way, way louder than that. I know that now. I don't have to turn that little baby Eureka on to find that out. <laughs> so, uh, we won't turn on the baby Eureka. <clears throat> what we will do is turn our table back. I think I did a fairly good job at putting things back. So, there is how dirty it gets. When you're, uh, looks to me like, yeah, that, that camera too is so far behind. I hate when, I've been trying to fix it. I've been working and working. Okay, it's still really far behind. I'll go to the desktop. Maybe I need to go to the desktop for a while. Let's see if it comes back. It, there's craziness with all this. Okay. Now, uh, I like to have things as straight as I can get them except for I can't tell left from right. It's hard to tell when you're looking at it at these weird angles. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, where's that trash can? What do I need it? I don't want my little neck pillow that I use in my chair to get dirty, so let's get it out of the way. I might use that. No, if it wasn't, we'll see it's, oh, it's 7.55 a.m. The night went away. Well, <clears throat> I still don't want to, I don't want to make noise because like I said, mom's a night owl. Well, I don't want to attract her to come in here and see. So there's some of the dust. It got in the switch. Some of the dust from it working. 
Got right there. Uh, okay, so here's the little brushes after they've been used a while. I think I'm just going to leave this set on here now. I don't see any reason to take them back off. But the, uh, let's get the dust bin out before I deal with trying to get my hair off the, off of that brushes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is, I'm sure you mash it to get that thing out. Boy, the legs. The wheels, I'm not so sure they weren't sprung. <laughs> but that doesn't make it open. That's what I thought it would do is just open. There's no words on that, but I saw that somewhere as far as, I mean, it's pretty hard to match that button. Let's see. But I saw that, you know, I guess I, well, I saw it, that you kind of basically had to operate stuff in, uh, yeah, it's just some little braille on there that doesn't mean anything to anyone. Not even somebody that could read braille. It's just little dots, but, uh, I don't know, let's see. What I thought that was, Maybe you you shouldn't have you would I wouldn't think you would flip it. See that's I can see all that in there. Now that would make it want to fall back out. And uh, that's where the battery is. I know that from I guess somewhere. You gotta unscrew those screws. I'm, I imagine you could buy a new battery for it if it was still working when the battery ran out. Oh okay. It's there we go. You push the button and pull. Now we're getting somewhere. But you definitely wouldn't want to do that upside down unless you want all your dust to be. Now looky there, it picked up a lot uh, a lot of, uh, now to be fair to the uh, vacuum, <laughs> I worked it hard just now because I haven't vacuumed in here in quite a long time. and. Uh, I shed like a shaggy dog, I guess. Well, it's been over a long period of time, but still. There we go. It it picked up. Uh, there's just a bunch of it landed right there. Where's that paper towel I had out there? It is. It picked up stuff that I didn't know was in the floor. Okay. Oh, it does clean. Oh, you could have saw that already, but there's what I just got out of there. And like I said, most of it's hair from me. Don't have an animal in the house, just me. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to... All that down in there, how are you supposed to get that out of there? This thing only goes so deep. I was thinking I need, a minute ago I was thinking, well, I'll get that other vacuum and vacuum in this out, <laughs> make it look better. <laughs> but that's going to be too loud. What I don't understand is why that is full of dust and dirt, but you can't get to it. Let's get up here. Actually, I have my tools here, so I may pop out a screwdriver and get that cover off because I want it clean. I mean, we won't do this every time, but this looks to me like it would be part of the mopping situation or something with all that rubber seal and everything. Uh, you see, there's a, I don't know if I can get it where you can see, try. There's a, trying to look over my shoulder to see, yeah, down in there. And then this section here is a separate section, but it is full of stuff. 
Looks like a lot of the, it looks, I don't know, I get dust, that's what it is. It looks, it's dust. It looks like dust, okay. Now, there's no instructions on how, on taking this stuff loose, you know, like how to take this thing apart and clean it. But it definitely picked up lots of dust. Now there's a button there, oh. Well, that is the, the vacuum motor. How did I? I guess you can clean it. It's all right. It's not real dirty. That's the vacuum motor. How about that? Just pops out. Little that little gray button there. Well, I'll be dang. Well, that's good. You can clean it. It's got electrical contacts. Okay, now that's one step closer. Oh, okay, that filter. See, that right there looks like a tab for taking something loose. That filter there is... Uh, now, I didn't inspect this, but surely it didn't have... I think all that, I think it was clean. Oh, I think I would have seen that because it's clear. But it looks like that it's not meant to just come apart, snap apart. Looks like you have to unscrew it, but let's look. Let's get pay attention here. Not now that's rubbery there. But that, you know, that button let that let loose that motor, and this button lets the whole thing slide out. It's kind of neat the way it's made. It's kind of good. That all that dust ended up up in there though. I guess the way this is made, the dust went into this section, and the Bigger stuff went into that section. It's kind of it's pretty cool that it could do that. It could divide it up that way. But yeah, you know, all, all the dust went that went past the motor ended up going past that filter and in here, or the other way around. Actually, it's the other way around. It came in here and the filter kept it from getting in the motor. There we go. <clears throat> okay, uh, surely. Surely you don't have to unscrew all those screws to clean this thing out right here. It doesn't really make sense, but maybe you do. Let me get my magnifying glass and look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I know you could get it apart that way, but is that how you're supposed to do it? clean it. There was something about, I think, oh, it was, I think it was on the page where I bought it. It says, please clean it good. Take, it was, you know, broken English, but it said, please take it apart and clean it. But I didn't expect it to be <laughs> every so often. It said every year or something like that. But I didn't expect it to be, uh, some of these are easy to get off and some of them are Need something to put that <clears throat> put those screws in so I don't lose them. <clears throat> I didn't have plan on getting breaking out the tools, but I'm not gonna give it to her for Christmas for this filthy, so and I just had to Kept debating. I had it out there in the garage in the box, you know, stored out there. I don't have room in here to leave it in here. And I thought about testing it out there, but it was cold. And uh, cold outside. And I knew there was leaves in the floor that got blew in. And not even, not as much room out there for it to run around as there is here. So I thought, well, and then again, she might come out there. That was the number one thing. I thought she comes out there and sees me running it. That's the end of the surprise. So I really want it to be a surprise. So this may be what has to be done when you want to clean this part. Now, if that's the case, 
that's kind of a pain. That's would be a real pain in the butt to have to do that every every time, every time you clean. That'd be pretty. Much, I mean, that was just about ten minutes of messing around with it. Maybe not even that long. So that's <clears throat> that's pretty weird to have to take it apart to do that. But I don't see any other way to do it. I don't want the dirt falling everywhere. Let's see, is there another screw? Looks like that dirt is gonna be in this, so I need to do it that way. But there's still one other thing holding it, and I don't know what it is. It could be that I didn't, there we go. It was just, it must have some tabs on it or something. Now I think you're gonna see what I was talking about. Just short order, look at how full that is. The dust. Just, it does, it separates the bigger stuff from the dust. Automatically. Oh, and this comes out too, it looks like. So that you can really clean it. But that, it's definitely not for, <laughs> it's more for uh, if, you, if your floor was relatively clean and then you ran it. Then you ran it. And you do it, well, I was going to say do it every every couple of days or something, but uh, well, it's not a very big dust section. So uh, it's going to fill up pretty fast. This may be a, uh, and I don't know, I mean, they're all going to be, they're all about this size, so I'm kind of thinking that cleaning this dust being out here, this dust filter and dust being is something you would need to do a lot with one of these. That's the thing I don't like. This is this is better than, we've got one of those, might be a Eureka, but it's a big uh, cyclonic vacuum with a dust cup that you pull out. It's not, it's like one eighth as much du dirt and dust can go in there as in a normal vacuum bag, and they, you know, they advertise them. Oh, you don't have to mess with vacuum bags. No, you just got to mess with that filthy cup, and it's all loose. You know, a vacuum bag. You take it out, you throw it away, you're done. With that, uh, this, this thing here, that thing. There's no way you got to do it out there in the garage. Or you should, don't ever empty one of those in the house. You may have already figured that out. I got pretty popular. But as soon as you, you just try to get that, there's no way to get that thing emptied without ending up wearing all that dust. Okay, I don't know which way that goes. Let's see. Oh, I think I'm figuring it out. It looks like it's only going to snap in properly if you put it in one way. Yeah, it won't try to stay in there like that. You flip it over, and it actually snaps in. And Well, if you get it right. I think you need to put in the, that in first. Yeah, and then it'll snap in. It's a little flimsy. Be careful with it. You can break that part right there off in a heartbeat. I think this is probably, no? I was going to say that's probably rubber for the mopping function, but, well, maybe it is. It may be to actually keep the water out of the motor. Uh, but it didn't stop the dust from going in there. Now, that, now that's one thing. I... If you uh, use that mopping function, I mean, you would you'd want to use it with the vacuum part turned off, though. And I don't see any way of it telling you how to do that, but because you wouldn't, why would you wouldn't want it to suck up lots of moisture into the motor? I wouldn't think. I mean, maybe it can handle it, kind of like a wet vac. But uh, anyway, it's not a wet vac, and. Uh, I really kind of gathered that the mop, you're just supposed to have a damp, uh, have it damp and rub, rub the floor with it, really. Well, there is that bucket that keeps it damp, but anyway. Uh, 
That right there is way too much work. I'm the only one that would do it. In the whole family, really. And uh, that filled it up just right then and there. Now that's one thing that's pretty disappointing, actually. Filling that up that quick. And, but, and to be honest, I can't see any of the other brands being much different, you know, as far as, I mean, other than maybe their filters would come off without a bunch of screws and everything. But yeah, see those little tabs go in here. So I think the only way to get it back together without losing the filter loose, having the filter fall out is to hold it like that. I can't, so I can't hold it where you can, there we go. Pretty easy. It was kind of, I don't know what was holding it, but well, it kind of holds it. No, it doesn't now. It was holding itself maybe because there was dirt and stuff all helping to hold it. I don't know, really know why it was staying so much. And, you know, it, it felt like a tight fit, but it's not a tight fit whenever I was taking it apart. But, uh, just put this thing around the corner for a little bit. Uh, I better put this over here. I'm going to lose those screws. Move this trash can too because I don't want to lose those things. Okay, let's see. Yeah, need a magnetic screwdriver. Fairly small tip, but not too small. This one's borderline being able to grab them. Good. One of them was pretty tight and it didn't want to. Now they'll be fine because I'm not going to over tighten them. But I will drop one. Oh, where did it go? Dang it, there's not any extra screws either. See it? This this one is the magnet's a little weak on this now. So it will drop screws now. I have one that might fit and have us not be so weak. Maybe. We'll see. This one, if it'll fit in there, it might do a better job at what I'm trying to do. Let's see. Yeah, it'll fit in there. And I think the magnet's better. I'm not running them all the way down. I'm just getting them started. I, my hands are terrible now. I, I, my hands jerk and I fumble. I don't think the magnet's as good on this one as it was on the other one. But I think it may grab the screws better. Maybe, we'll see. One good thing about that one with the smaller diameter handle, you won't accidentally over tighten and break things with it as easily. shop but what's what I do usually is get the shop back in here I, I need to clean its filter that's one reason that's kind of the main reason I haven't done it because it's been uh, when the filters clean it doesn't blow it, believe it or not that shop back does not blow dust that I have it's one from I forgot the brand but it's the Home Depot brand it was rather expensive but it got marked down on a good sale so I went and got it drove to another small town out here. I live in Hazel and I drove to Weatherford about 30 miles, I think, because it was worth it. That was the only, you had to go get it. You couldn't order it, you know. But uh, it's a good one. It's a good blower too. It's powerful enough to be a good blower. You can blow leaves with it and everything. This one, this one actually grabs better. It's just but it's not as big of a handle, so that's good. It keeps you from breaking plastic stuff. Okay, so uh, let's put our motor back. So our motor goes, okay, the con, oh, I see, those contacts, let's see. Yeah, the motor, okay, now here's the filter inlet hole. And so the motor, of course, is going to go like that, so. 
yeah, that's the simplest way to, well, if you look at the shape of everything in there, you can see that too. There you go. And then those contacts are ready to contact what they should there. I'm going to leave it out for now because I need to clean all this mess up. <clears throat> this, <coughs> I'm not looking forward to. Let's see. I'm going to shut the lid on my, get a couple of things that might help me. A couple of tools here. shut the lid on this so that I won't be dragging dirt out and onto my toolbox because I think I'm going to kind of do this. Yeah, that's pitiful that that happened. That, that's why it was, that, see, you get all that hair in the brush and it makes it work too hard. Can't, you know, they'll lock them up when they won't spin. But a big old powerful one, <laughs> you can, that is the one drawback of having a spinning brush, but a big powerful one can keep going for a long time. You wouldn't have it this, that's really, let's see, there's a button on here somewhere where that brush will come out, I think. Yeah, there it is. Thought it would, yeah. That's gonna be the way to clean it, I think. There we go. Now, it's a lot easier. Yeah, see, look at all that is all wrapped around there. Whoa, we'll be careful, don't lose the, oh, that's what that other one of these is. It's a little rubber thing with a hole, a bushing in it. Don't lose that in the trash can. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll run it in here again because I don't want to clean it like that again. This is a lot more work than uh, you save. <laughs> and I'm afraid that even in the living room, it will pick up enough st stuff around the brush. Uh, the thing is, I knew that without the brush, it would not do a very good job on the carpet or the uh, floor. So I didn't, the, a lot of the, all the other cheap ones didn't have a brush. Well, and a lot of the expensive ones didn't have a brush. And their little vacuum hole was real small and these were supposed to just kick it towards that little hole, you know. But, uh, <clears throat> so, but these are all they're good for, is bringing stuff out from the edge of stuff into this direction. This is what knocks it loose and makes the vacuum able to pick it up. That's just how vacuums work the best, you know. But this is a drawback, <clears throat> having to clean this. Our bigger, the one I was saying that I hate using it because <coughs> of that cup, cleaning that cup. It's less time consuming than this, that's for sure. But uh, it, uh, and it's big and heavy. One good thing about this is it's easy to handle. That thing is big and heavy. And of course, when I was younger, it wasn't a thought nothing about it, but now I do. <coughs> Plugging that thing around, flipping it over to clean it and all that stuff. And the brushes, I, I'm sure they'll come out of that thing, but not that easy, you know, like this did. So, uh, but yeah, that just took 10 minutes to completely fill it with dust and wrap it up. So that's the thing about, these are for spot cleaning, I guess you would say. That's what I would say. Oops, dropped it in the trash. Dang it. Okay, so our brushes, I'll put that back over there. I want to get this one. Now this one looks like it would be the more for, it's got one of those rubber, rubber things, bushing and a rubber deal. At least they're both the same, but this is, uh, looks to me like it would move water, being all rubber, but I don't know. 
Oh, and there's a, it's not round, it's, uh, yeah, that's the, what makes it turn. These are motors then, or either, uh, they look like that is the motors right there. Um, I don't think they're on like belts. I think those are the motors for turning it. So. Wipe that out right now before I forget. I think it's a pretty cool design for never. I mean, you know, the, the, just the whole idea of these things. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a miniature. Well, I like the way this comes apart easy, other than the, all those screws I had to take out to clean that dust filter area. But anyway, dust is the biggest problem we have here in this house. I think there's, I've, I can't get in the attic anymore. I looked once a few years ago, couldn't find, I, I'm afraid we have leaks in our air conditioning ducts that's pulling in dust from the attic and blowing it in here because it is actually dirt, that we get more dust inside this house than we do in our garage. So it, it's not just the area, you know. But this is rubber and that's, that little screw just covered in hair. So yeah, here you go. I see a lot of uh, quick run videos on these things and I've never seen anybody run one the first time and then take it apart and clean it. So here you go. This is what it takes to get this thing cleaned after first run on a hairy, dusty carpet. So most people talk about animal hair, but this is human hair that this thing's got, and that's actually worse because it's longer. Well, as you, if you see me, you can see why. But uh, <clears throat> I'm old. I'm old now. I should <sighs> like an old shaggy dog. So. Uh, didn't used to, I didn't used to see what I, you know, what I see around <laughs> here, hair like I do now. But I also spend all my time in here on the computer, so got plenty of time for it to. And that's some more rubber seals there. So this thing doesn't screw on; it's just it's a bushing inside of there, and then that's just to hold it in place. But this end is going to have to hit that cog. It's got a cog for that motor there. So let's see. There we go. Let's see. And that goes up under there. There we go. And uh, where's the other part? The brush brush. It has a cog, cog wheel. And uh, there we go. Yeah. You turn it until it lines up. First, you gotta hit it. There we go. Okay. Snap on. That part's easy. I like that. But that's cool because usually you just have the one brush. But that, um, I would say, I mean, it's not, see, the brush is up high and this is way down low, so. I don't know what the, you know, I've never seen one like that. Maybe it's common nowadays, I don't know, but uh, it just seems to me it would help. <laughs> it's not going to rub the floor. I was, for a minute, I was thinking maybe it, you know, catches the dust like a squeegee. Then a while ago, I was thinking of water, but no, it doesn't even touch the floor. These, these things never go that low, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Anyway, somehow I, I imagine it, it, it kind of helps to throw that dirt and hair and everything else, and d dirt and dust, on through here and into the, you know, well, it goes through there and then comes out here into the pan is what it does. Those tools, I didn't actually need all those tools, but that's all right. These are my inside tools. They're supposed to stay clean like for computers and, I mean, I didn't get them dirty. I didn't even actually end up using them, but uh, they're for computers and stuff like that. They don't get greasy, that's for sure. Okay. 
those little whiskers. And you see that one's just a just a caster. So at least we can get a bunch of hair wrapped around those wheels. They got good traction. Now you saw it climbing up over the climbing up on that mic stand. I really didn't think it could do that, but it did it. Let's see, that goes like that. So let's put it the normal way, because then I think we can kind of, yeah. So you mash it. It's actually not hard to get off once you realize what you're supposed to be doing. Mash it and pull, that's all. Not a big deal. I just didn't understand. I thought it was going to mash and fall down. That's why I had trouble with it. But yeah, that's your dust collector, and it's not very big. So uh, you can do about eight, eight by eight feet for 10 minutes, and it's full if you got lots of dust, like I do. Now it, didn't <laughs> now it doesn't hit the spot. What did I do now? There, it was. I was going too far that way. My, I just didn't have it right. And that's the baby buggy bunker. That's what switches it when it hits hits it. And uh, let's see if I can. It's probably not going to look as brand new as it did, but it's going to have some dust here and there. But. If you, you know, I wasn't going to about to something like this that's a, a, you know, a cheap item that could come DOA. You know, everything, could, anything could possibly come DOA these days. So, and it's happened, you know, went back when I was young when things were mostly made better. There were things sometimes we bought, give it to somebody for Christmas and it didn't work, you know. So, uh, don't want, don't want that. I wanted to, I needed to vacuum my floor. Uh, I was going to take the, I'm just going to leave, those batteries can stay in there until Christmas. This is the 15th or something now. 14th. Yeah, they can stay in there. Okay, so uh, that's pretty good. I will put it, I'd kind of like to charge it again. <coughs> I'm going to lay it up here upside down because I don't know why it has that. It doesn't turn. Oh, that must be a, 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 a like, as we used to say, an electric eye. Now you're supposed to know what things really are, but <laughs> that's an electric eye of some sort. It, it's more than just this bumper because I saw it turning as if it sensed something when it hadn't bumped into anything yet. So I think the bumper, the baby buggy bunker, is this last resort before, you know, last defense, I think. Now, let's see. Let's get this, uh, yeah, let's get this and clean it up. Let's get these out of there before they get all dirty again. These are clean. Let's try to keep them that way. These are the pads. I think I'll see if I can figure out how that works. And yeah, there, this thing will never stop shedding, so I'm not going to completely. But this one, I'm going to wipe. Go ahead and wipe off the the blue one here. And uh, oh, and there's a brush for cleaning it. Oh, actually, I could probably use this. Look, it's got a little fork. That's my deal. Yeah, it's got a little fork. That could have been a good for digging that hair out of there. Instead of my fingers. I don't think I'd have ever got it all without my fingers, though. Okay, so... This is the water tank. I figured that out earlier. I'm going to get this white junk off before I end up getting my clean floor dirty. <laughs> it really still needs a good... It still needs some more vacuuming, I think, with the more powerful vacuum. Of course, I only got the uh, one reason. <laughs> one reason why I hate to get that shop back and bring it in here because what happens is, once I get started, 
I start vacuuming all the dust that's fallen in here all up everywhere and I just can't stop you know and so I kill myself wore myself out and uh, and the dust tears me up makes me sick and so uh, it ends up not being a 10 minute or a 30 minute or an hour long thing. It ends up being a whole day or night or whatever. Okay, now I know what the brush is for. That can't get it. Let's see if this little brush can get those. I hate that white foamy junk, the way it sticks to everything with, the, with its, that's a stiff brush. It won't come off. Even with the, the paper towel wasn't really doing it. it, it it's statically charged and it won't let go of anything. That's why I didn't try to clean it already. That's not really, well it's kind of helping but maybe my hands will do better than the paper. The paper towel it was, it was it wants to stick to this plastic more than it wants to stick to the paper towel, so it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't happening. See, it jumps back on there. I mean, I get it all the way off like an inch or two away and it jumps back to it. And I'm not making that up. I saw it. Believe me. Trust me. Trust me, I'm not lying. Okay. Let's fold this the other way and maybe there will be some cleaner side to it. Look at that. As many times as I've wiped that thing, it's still on there. What, what was happening, I think, is it was going onto the paper towel and then back onto this thing. That's what I think happened to me. So I'll throw that one away. Because I think it's it's putting it back on. Look at that. I think it's putting it. I had that all clean. It was. It was putting it back on there. It was a bunch. I can't see it. It's a white paper towel. And I couldn't see all the stuff that was on it. Dang it. I'm telling you. There is a good reason to hate this foam junk. Look at that. No matter how many times I clean it. It's all. But look at there. You said I'll jump. You probably can't see what I can see that far away. I know you can just barely see my trash can. That's how come I decided to go ahead and just leave everything as it was because I saw that. But it's just the instant I get it on my hands, the, the it's the mag electromagnetical attraction is stronger to this plastic. Why it does that, I don't know. I guess you'd have to be. A lot smarter than me, a lot more smarter on that stuff than me to know why. But I know it's done it. I've observed it my whole life, so. I think I'm gonna have to give up. You need a vac you need a vacuum that's really strong to pull it off of there. That's what I usually do is if there's one handy, I use a vacuum get it off of stuff. This vacuum wouldn't do it. You'd have to have a regular one with a hose, like a shop vac. I wanted to get it off of the, I didn't want it to get it all over those little mopping pads because I wanted to stick one on here. Well, I think that's enough fighting with that. And got a new got two more brushes and a new filter and another one in case you lose the only you only can get a chance to lose one of these little rubber things so don't lose them with the other one and uh not sure uh oh i dropped it way down in there well it can stay there i dropped it in a different there's all these different holes in the box to put stuff and i thought well i'm gonna put it in there where I put it was probably not a bad idea because it uh, may stay there better than where it was. Okay, so uh, 
here's what I wanted to do. So I don't know, you may be supposed to, I can't, somewhere, you know, there's not much. I must have read some instructions somewhere else, so like on like on the, on the Amazon's where I bought it. You know, sometimes these people will put instructions, instructions that maybe the people complained about in the comments. They put instructions to answer, you know, what they say. Like, I don't know how to do this. There's manual doesn't tell me and so on. And this one doesn't tell you. Main, main frame machine use method, yeah. Autom automatic cleaning button, that's what that's called. Toss box, sense window. Oh, there's a sense window there. Front bumper, infrared, yeah, infrared receiver. Oh, that's, the, that's, uh, that's for the remote, okay. Front wheel, floor, inspection sense. It doesn't have the drop. Uh, so if you got a two-story house or something or anything in your house where it could drop, you don't want this one because it doesn't have the drop protection, the drop sensors, fall-off sensors, whatever you want to call them, left wheel, rubber brush, main brush, right wheel, side butt brush, battery cover. Right here. <clears throat> There's not much else. I pretty well have read the instructions several times now. Did not say anything about how to operate this. I think I saw those instructions on the website. But look at that. I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. Now, how did that stuff just come back? <laughs> there was not that much left on it. But I do know this about it, and I'm not going to keep messing with it. Because when I put it back in there, it's going to get this stuff all over it again. I think it might have been on my fingers is all I can figure. Well, I laid it down over here, though. I wasn't touching it. But anyway... Oh, I try to rub it off, rub it off the end, and it hit around the corner. There we go. Okay, so you put water in here in this hole or cleaning solution to mop for the mop function. You put it on here like that. This I just figure I'm just figuring out, you know, by looking at it. Now with these, that's obviously got to be the mopper, and there's Velcro's on here. They want to, they're trying to hold it. So there you go. Do that. And then uh, I had to put that back on the box. And I'm not going to try to demonstrate that. But yeah, it'll touch the ground. Okay, so when the wheels, the shocks let, let it go all the way down. The springs, the little springs. And it'll rub the floor. If I turn it on, it would come off. It'd fly off of there, so I can't do that. But uh, I thought about it <laughs> for a second. But there you go. Um, I think it'd be worth trying. Uh, I'd do it. I'd uh, back. I'd I'd sweep the floor with it first, and then put some cleaner in there and let it run around the kitchen. You'd have to sit there with the remote and make sure it doesn't come up on the carpet. <clears throat> But, yeah, that would work. I mean, I could tell that it would do. It would work. And then you could throw this in the washing machine. Well, I don't know. Might not be stand up to a real rough, a lot of trips in the washer, but. I just realized that this water tank probably goes in a specific place in this box that it wasn't in before. So hopefully I just figured something good out. The box almost looks like it wasn't really made for these parts. It, they they had all just kind of fell all over the place, so uh, I'll get it and I'm going to put it back in there. So I was kind of wanting to charge it. What I did is I left I, ha I left it in a certain way to where I could, I could just kind of cover the with the lid, you know. Well, what I did is the plug for the charger is right there, so I turned that you know out this way, plugged it in out in the garage. 
I think I'll plug it back in again. I'll do it in here to show the little blue light. Well, you saw the little blue light was running though, didn't you? All right, so yeah, and there's a hole right here. So if you put the wheel, the little wheel in it, let's see, is that gonna hurt those things? Not really. Well, it might bend them permanently. I think I'll take them back off if they'll come off. <coughs> yeah, they'll come off. I'm afraid they're gonna bend too, too tightly and stay permanently bent. So I'm gonna put them, one of them's already kind of bent. So yeah, there's a, a, two deals where you can see through there. I don't know if that's so you can see something or what. Oh, that's part of the sensing stuff. It was on the diagram. Okay, so yeah, if I put the wheel here, uh, then, uh, I can plug it up and charge it again. Yeah, there we go. So I can still plug it up to charge it. I think, yeah, I can get it. I want to turn it a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Put the wheel here. It's not exactly how it was setting when I got it, but it does go that way fine. And of course I left this top part off while I was charging it. But let's plug it in for a second here. I think when I take it back out in the garage, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and let it charge back up completely. I want to make sure that it's, it is charged. Well, I can show what it does. I didn't want to do that earlier because I didn't want to take away any battery juice. But uh, I can do it now. Okay. Plug it up. Now see, it went blue, then it starts blinking red. I don't hear no noises out of it. Maybe it's gonna do it here in a minute. I don't guess you can see the color all that good with the, the light in the room. Maybe that'll help. There you go. See how long it does. I'll just wait until it does something. It may sit there and charge for a while since I ran it a while. It could have been mostly charged because it was less than five minutes when it turned blue. Of course, it's only been 30 seconds. But uh, I think I'll leave it like that. Hands are dirty now. I'll leave it like that and... Uh, where's my stool? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Let it do that while I'm... Uh, Getting on, I was going to go to the Amazon page and show you the things I was talking about. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, this wasn't intended to be a instructional video, but I think this is going to be how to clean the thing <laughs> video. Figuring it out as I go. <clears throat> oh yeah, let's put the remote in its little spot before I forget to do that. Get it all boxed up and then the remote's on my, over here on my rack tray. There's a piece of tape that I wanted to keep usable. There we go. Yeah, that remote was in there, and they actually, I put the extra foot in there. It'd be kind of hard to get out, but it'll be fine. A good place for it. Yeah, last time I forgot to put the instructions back in the box. Okay, so evidently it was pretty well charged before, and now it actually needs a charge. So I'll let it charge while I'm doing that, and then... I don't know if unplugging it and plugging it back in will restart the whole charging cycle. I guess not because, like I said, it did not blink red for all that long. I can't remember for sure, but I think it started, yeah, it's, it, I was making the video. It's, I think it's show up in the video, maybe. Well, I, I didn't have the camera where you could see it like it is now. But uh, I think I was standing there talking and it went blue. And I was like, oh, I, suppose, I thought it was going to take hours, you know. Blue means it's charged. I was thinking, well, maybe blue doesn't mean it's charged after that happened. I thought maybe blue means it's 
charging. But what I understood in the instructions is blinking red means it's charging, blue means it's charged. So I think that is going to be the case. Let's see. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to put, I didn't do this as an actual live video because I didn't want mom to see it before Christmas in case she happened to look at I happened to look on my YouTube. I don't think she, I don't know. I, she mentioned it once. Oh, wow. Well, actually, yeah. She mentioned seeing it once while I was doing it live. And she says, well, I didn't know if I should look at that. And I said, well, yeah, that's what it's for. It's for the whole world to see. <clears throat> she said she wanted to be snooping. Because she knew it was happening right then and there. You know, she knew it was live. And I was in here doing it and then when I came out she told me that she okay desktop now let's go to the SM58 get in desktop mode I just like the mic sounds so much better <coughs> still blinking red over there too okay um what did I just do I don't know what I did but did I miss anything up no, I guess not. I was trying to click over here and then open up my browser. Yeah, I got up at 10 o'clock last night, and so now it's almost 9 in the morning. I don't know where the time went. Uh, at least I'm getting this done. On I didn't get it. I was going to do it yesterday, and I didn't. Well, I got involved in trying to make my videos work better, and I did end up spending two days doing it, actually. And uh, <clears throat> I don't have, but I'm not doing live, so I can't check anything but the OBS Studio screen. I can't actually hear myself. There is a way to do it, but it makes feedback and noise in the speakers and stuff. You can do it in the settings in OBS, but even if it doesn't make feedback, it'll just be irritating. I'll hear myself twice. You know, it'll be an echo in the video. Okay, let's see. Amazon. <laughs> Still blinking red, so I think it's going to blink red until it's charged, but who knows? It might charge before I get done with this video. That's what I was thinking. Why well, I just go ahead and plug it in. Um, go to my orders, and I'll show that thing. Here it is. 136 It's still the same price, I guess. I think, yeah. Oh, I guess it wasn't 139 It was 136 with... And there's still a coupon for 10% off, so uh, it was something like $22.5 or something, I think. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. $122, not $22, it was $122.40. So, uh, now let's see. Now, the reason not, that all the features I just showed is why I went ahead and got it. Uh, it has only has two reviews, but uh, they're both made videos, and that was the re really that made me think. Okay, I think it'd be all right, you know, because they weren't like saying this is the greatest thing in the world. They were just saying I like this and I don't like that. You know, so, well, let's see. Let's go on down to the review area. Yeah, see, here's the two videos you could if you were interested in the thing. Now I don't know how you know. And they're both five stars. That was suspect, but the, uh, they're not. Uh, I let's see. One of them, I think they. This one of the guy is a guy, and that one's a girl. And this, she didn't say one way or the other. But this one, I think he said he bought it. You know, he wasn't given to him. So, um, I won't read the I'll read the reviews or anything. I just showed you the whole thing. So, and you've seen all the parts. There's a, there's what comes with it. Here's the note. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Please charge eight hours. Please charge time. First charge time eight hours. Please do not let it approach the bathroom as a, its random cleaning mode. <clears throat> I, I guess they say that because it might be wet in there, the floor or something. <clears throat> you could stabilize the machine by hand, pull out the brush, and replace the brush. Isn't that crazy? Well, I just did that and cleaned it. Weird explanations. Please clean up regularly the machine after a period of use in order to ensure that the robot work effectively. Work effectively. 
works effectively. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's really funny the contrast between, you know, manuals and, 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 and descriptions of products used to be highfalutin, official sounding, technical, you know, manual style writing. And now we get this stuff. Uh, I mean, they used to, when I was younger, you'd have to think three times to figure out it was so, such a, it was written by a guy that wrote technicals or a guy or a girl that writes technical books or manuals, you know, the, the little papers that came with you, kids' toys. And you, it was easier to just try to put it together than to try to read those manuals because they were highly technical. Now, it's hard to understand them because they don't describe it well. They use broken English. And it, 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 it would be uh, aggravating if it wasn't so hilarious. <laughs> Press the finger mark on the machine surface cover to lift the lid, cover, comma, to lift the lid and make and take out or back. Wow. I, I'm not good at reading it aloud, but dang. Press the finger mark on the machine surface cover to lift the lid. That actually ought to be a period. To lift the lid and take out or back into take it take out or back into the dust box inside the machine. That makes I, I'm finally getting what they're trying to say. Press the finger mark on the machine surface cover. Comma cover. To lift the lid and take it out or to put it back in. But they should say, to remove the dust cover, the, something like that. You get what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so uh, I'm, it's, I, I'm not the only one. I see everybody talking about this too when they talk about products and try to look, read the manuals or the, you know, whatever it is that comes with it. <clears throat> so um, let's see. Nowadays, now it's funny, they use an old timey nowadays. Use an old timey. It's such a mix. They use an old timey saying from what was only old people used when I was a kid. I do it. I do it. You know, I grew up around it, so I do it too. But nowadays, usually we say nowadays. We don't say nowadays. We say nowadays. But all the old folks said nowadays. I'm talking to people born in eight. My papa was born in 1898. And my mama was born in 1900. That's the kind of how, people that aren't here anymore <laughs> used to say that. Okay, nowadays, vacuum cleaner. Let me see. Let me read it first. Okay, nowadays, vacuum cleaner not only could bring the family life great convenience, but also a practical home cleaning useful helper. <laughs> there it is. Finagru. Finagrui. Finagrui, that's the brand. Vacuum cleaner should be a good friend to your home, which has a 2.4 gig, gigahertz RF remote control function, cross barrier function, large tires. It does have large tires for a vacuum. It's got off-road tires for a vacuum. That's, you saw what it could do. It climb up on that mic stand deal every time. And if you look at other videos, you'll see that other vacuums would just... Uh, probably bump into it and turn really uh, or get I mean it's the reason I think that's good is because it's going to make it off of our hard floor onto our carpet I'm sure and I was worried whether or not it was going to be able to do that because I saw some that I thought and that thing cost you know 250 or 300 or 50 dollars or something or maybe more might have been 450 and it wouldn't have made it from our hard floor to our carpet uh, I saw the, the girl making she was testing three or four of them and she saw she showed what each one could and couldn't do and only one out of the three or four she was testing could make it up on the floor mat by her front door. Off of the, it was a hard floor, you know, hallway coming from the front door to the living room or whatever. And they would run on carpet when you set them down on carpet, but they wouldn't go on and they wouldn't go up it's just just as something as thick as a floor mat. So that's why I say that's good. It's no, it's it is, but kind of you know, it was getting aggravating that it kept running up on that thing. I had to finally remember to hit the. I kept hitting the remote to keep it from getting on it because. It wouldn't bump it and turn. It would go up on those wheels, <laughs> try to get up there, <laughs> and then get stuck. But uh, this product does not have automatic char charging function and requires manual charging. And what that means is it doesn't have a dock, as they call it, that it'll drive up to and charge. you got to plug it into that 
that little wall wart, you know, the, the power supply, what I usually call them, power supply with a barrel connector. And you're not, you know, it's it's not, it's just simple. Uh, but it is, you do have to, like, if you kept the thing in the floor somewhere, you'd have to bend down and do that. You might not do it. At the same time, there is no wall inspection function. Please purchase as appropriate. What? What in that? What is that supposed to mean? I didn't remember that. At the same time, there is no wall inspection function. Please purchase as appropriate. I have no clue what that's supposed to mean. Not from using the thing, not from reading all the other stuff that came with it. Now, there is something somewhere that says about, you know, about it falling. Uh, it doesn't have that. Here's what comes with it. Uh, turn on this switch on the side of the machine. I don't remember hearing a sound when I turned it on, saying that it was in standby mode. A lot of t sometimes these things are actually wrong because I guess they were written for the first model and now they're selling the second model. They do that uh, with a lot of stuff on Amazon. A lot of people, a lot of different sellers, Amazon products including that are sold straight by them. Okay, cheese speed invited to one fast one and slow two so there's only two speeds well it's on the slow one now and i like that better it was going too fast for me to <laughs> catch it with the remote or anything too fast for it to do any good at cleaning you know those you, one of the first things you learn about using a vacuum is don't go too fast or it ain't gonna pick nothing up you know uh let's see what's up in here now <clears throat> i'm not gonna read this out loud i'm gonna go over it a little bit see if there's anything else what I was trying to tell you about the what it's how it tells about dropping off the uh, the drop function. With a 180 milliliter water tank, mopping function. It did pick up hair and dust and fur. It picked up my fur. <laughs> There's a gold one and a pink one, by the way. I saw that it had pink, and I thought, well, my mom would like that. He says it can work continuously for two to three hours under full charge. Water tank can be adjusted. You control the humidity of the ground when mopping the floor but is not equipped with an anti-drop function. That's all it says about that. So be careful if you use it at a height. <laughs> so if you had a, you know, a drop-offs in your floor far, you know, more than like, I, well, I'm not going to say, I don't know. But, but if you had a two-story house, I definitely wouldn't want this one. If you're going to use it upstairs, you'd go off the stairs in a heartbeat. Unless you put you a board up there to stop it. <laughs> you can get you can get you a two before to lay in front of it. Like I did, I put stuff around the room to stop it from going like I didn't want to run into my door to my room and make noise. So I put that stool in this chair that I'm sitting in over there and it stopped it. Turns around goes the other way. Well, you definitely have to clean it. Oh, here's what the gold one looks like. You definitely have to clean it quick, fast, quickly. Uh, you have a, I have to say, if you have a dirty floor, dusty and hairy. <laughs> if you had, uh, you know, kept up with your cleaning and you just started using it, you know, two or three times a week, maybe, might save you some labor. But if you... And in a situation like I just now did, then that was a lot of cleaning. Uh, 
I didn't save myself any labor. I, I, I could have grabbed a real vacuum. And, well, I will say this, the one that I don't like, the, the one with the big cup or the small cup, too small of a cup. Uh, <clears throat> every time I get in there, every time I want to use the thing, it's full. So I have to empty it before I use it. <laughs> and then after I use it, it's full again. So uh, I use, that's why I got to where I just use the shop vacuum. Um, but yeah, if you don't have, uh, it did pick up all that hair, uh, hair that I couldn't see. You know, I couldn't see none of it. My hair's blonde, so it doesn't show up you know, on, the, on the light colored carpet. But uh, there's a whole bunch of you might also likes. But um, oh, there's one other thing I wanted. To, what's this about? Oh, that's some other thing. There is somewhere on here. Okay, now this is the thing I didn't ever look up. Okay, it's called the. Uh, there we go. Finguru. That is, there's the map. It says A S I N, but I guess that's the model number. Okay, now if you click here, it says please contact directly the seller directly for information on the product. You may also be able to find more information on the Macca Packers website. So let's paste and search. Oh, okay. There's lots of information. Now, I, I meant to do this, you know, before. I meant to look up this right here, the, the uh, manufacturer and all that. Okay, don't leave that assigned in there. Oh, I think that Amazon is the only. You know, when I looked it up, um, how did I look it up before? I looked it up before, and... Uh, I think I have a, a, a little robot vacuum. Yeah. Folder made up, but look at there. Just some pictures, just very few. I, I think that maybe Amazon is the only seller that even sells this thing. <laughs> now, I saw one other place. See, there was only, I only saw like three or four places that were selling it. So I think it might be a new product. Sometimes that can be good because I'm, this is what I hope and why I went out and got it. It was a, a quarter of what the rest of, even less than a quarter of what the rest of them cost with the same features. It did have good reviews on the people, you know, and the videos looked over, made it look okay. And uh, didn't have any DOAs or anything, only two reviews, but, and they may be, uh, at least, well, like I said, the man, I think he said he bought it. The woman he might have been given to her, you know, to, as for doing a review like they do on Amazon and everywhere else. But uh, uh, how did I look that up? Yeah, see, here's a bunch of my research is what that is. And I hadn't looked them up. And, you know, when they first came out, I looked them up a lot. Uh, I was pretty interested in them, but they were just too expensive for me to. I want to get one from all. And, uh, Oh, uh, I must have found another model number. Maybe it's up at the top of the page or something. That's not really the model number then. Here it is, yeah. Finguru Vacuum. There we go. That's how I looked it up before. Yeah, right there. So there is a few more. That's all Amazon. See, they're, they're selling it. There's a place. And uh, there's purple ones are the ones I've already been to. UK and Best, oh, Best Buy. CA, though, Canada. I believe that actually, yes, it's Canada. Best Buy in Canada and the Telegraph.UK. So I don't think it's widely sold in America. It may just now be sold. Okay, look, that's the end of it. That's it. That's completely something else. That's a decoration, and that's a Panasonic plain paper fax copy. So that was it, and uh, there's no point in going to them. I, there's not really any more information. That's, I think that's, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I guess I could look. I may have, I don't know if I went there or not. I think it's going to be Spanish or something. Or it may not come up. Up. Okay, yeah, and there's the 
there's the yeah <clears throat> so anyway there's not really any near as much information on any of these other sites as there is on the Amazon site so I don't know how you'd find the manufacturer um, I really meant to check that before I went out and bought it but I had been studying my heart out looking at vacuums and, and I had been shopping for three or four days all day every day trying to find if you don't you're gonna buy stuff that's you know you if you just say okay you know net gear routers you, my net gear routers good that I had bought 10 years ago you buy a new one now well go look them up you'll have a, a the biggest complaint will be DOA or lasted a month or two. So you got to check and check and check. Like I ended up buying, I think it is, a, I, don't, I think it might be, an, I forgot what it is, a Netgear or something. Uh, I think it is a Netgear switch, but I had to go around and around and around to decide what switch to buy, network switch. But um, sort these by name so that they make more sense well here's the ones i looked at and there were some that were a little cheaper they didn't have, some of these didn't have remotes they had a lot worse reviews no dock on that one uh no remote none of these had the, the mopping function which i wasn't i didn't even know they had that function until i saw it on this one <laughs> then i wrote and then when i watched some started watching some videos i saw that some of them do do that but uh, mostly the more expensive ones. So anyway, overall, I figured, and especially looking at the reviews on all these other ones, I thought, you know, they were coming DOA or breaking after a couple of months. I thought, well, I can't, af I, I'm not, I can't afford to spend even 250 or 300 on one. So uh, if I'm going to risk it, I'll risk it on this one. That's what I decided. Now, I don't know. We'll see if that's a good idea. It was a good idea or not. Oh, that one doesn't work on carpets. See, that one was $98 and 10% off on top of that. But it, uh, so I didn't get it. So anyway, uh, there is no manufacturer website. Yeah, I did look that up after I got it, <laughs> uh, which was not what I intended to do at all. So whoever makes this is probably some other company didn't see any stickers on it that would tell me that either. Where's my magnifying glass? I'm looking for my bigger magnifying glass. I see the little one. There. I just saw a sticker on the side of the box. And of course, made in China. It's even got it's got a combination of uh, you don't usually see that on stuff marketed in America. It's a combination of you know uh, English and Chinese characters. But what I'm thinking is it may be uh, can't spin the box. I started to spin the box around, but I can't because it's plugged. That cable's not that long. Yeah, there could be more inf information on the box, but. Well, that's the main sticker that I'm looking at. So what I was thinking is maybe the company that makes it is, you know, not <laughs> not Fenguru. But it just says made in China. It says that model number on it. Bunch of long numbers. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I've already got it. So we'll just hope it works good and lasts a long time. It does work good. I, I would say it works good. This is if, if hopefully it'll last. It actually looks as though it's made well enough to last as long as anything like this would these days, you know, like that would. I didn't see anything that looked completely. There was one thing I saw that, you know, when I was taking that filter out, the part of the area that holds it, you could, if you weren't, you know, you could actually probably break that if you were forcing that filter back in there too, too hard or something. I'd be careful with that. But other, than, everything else seems sturdy enough. Now here's a whole bunch of diagrams about what everything is right here. There's more on on the page. That's why I went to this. There's more on the Amazon page. Sometimes that's the case. 
a lot of stuff these days than there is in any paperwork or anything else. And in this case, I don't even see a manufacturer website. See, they're just telling you what everything is. And so I already had a pretty good idea of how to operate it and everything before I got it. <laughs> they're marketing it for Christmas. And here's all the stuff. And, oh, and it had uh, 1,200 PA. That's how they're measuring the vacuum force of it. Well, the other ones were like not even half of that, the other brands that were, you know, just $100 or so. So I thought that's the other reason. That's another big reason why I went ahead and got it. So um, quiet as it was, I was afraid the vacuum motor. Well, I said that. I was, Is that vacuum even working? It's, it's saying 60 dBs, but I guess that 60 dB is, is mostly going down towards the ground and hitting the carpet and not, you know, not getting up in my face. Because if that was a speaker turned up, anything, any kind of sound turned up to 60 dBs, that would really bother me. I wouldn't be able to stand in, stay in here for more than like two minutes listening to it. You know, I'd turn it off or turn it down. But I figured it's not going to be any louder than a normal vacuum. And, you know, you can stand that long enough to get it done there can be loud you know pretty loud and i thought wow that's gonna be a pretty loud little thing to have it run you know they're gonna i mean a normal vacuum you you know you you'd spend 10 minutes in a room and you're done or five minutes you know and you're done with this it's gonna you're gonna have to let it run and run and run for until it finishes covering the room and and it's gonna get stuck in mo in, um, in this room now some of the rooms in the house maybe it won't get stuck our car, our our, our uh, couches are really low to the ground, so it'll just bump into them and turn. It won't go on. You know, if it's just the wrong height, it'd go under there and get stuck under there. But I can't think of anything in the living room or dining room area. Well, now up around the table, I don't know. It might get stuck up in there. You're definitely going to have to watch it, which I already figured that with any of them. Yeah, you're not going to just let it go. And well, I mean, maybe you will, but if you let it go, well, it won't hurt. If you let it go. Go off in the other room and it gets hung up, it's just going to stop. See? And it shuts itself into like sleep mode. The blue light's still on, but it's basically kind of in sleep mode, so it's not going to hurt. <clears throat> so, still blinking red. Uh, so I think it's, like I said, the first time I plugged it in out there in the garage, uh, it, it kind of worried me. I thought, has this thing been charged and used and returned, you know? But uh, I think it was just more charged up than, they, than the website led me to believe, you know. I still went ahead and charged it overnight, you know. more. I think I charged it for way over 12 hours, more like, you know, 15 or 16, 18 hours or something. <laughs> but because uh, I didn't get right to it <laughs> the next day. But... Um, But I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to unplug it to take it back out in the garage because I can't leave it in here because it says all over the box what it is and everything. And I don't have room for it in here. So uh, there we go. I think uh, so far so good. So I've got it cleaned up enough I can give it to her for Christmas. Won't look used, I don't think. I mean, if you inspect it, you'll see that there's been dust in the dust bin and all that. But. Or is that, here's that one thing. Uh, even in the living room in there, like I said, we have a lot of dust problem here. So uh, that dust bin is small, and I think it will fill up. I mean, like I said, if you if you got the floor, actually what you need to do is have the floor relatively clean. Like clean it good, maybe with a big vacuum, and then run this thing every two, three days. And then it wouldn't fill that little baby dustbin up so quick, and you wouldn't be work. You you know you can sit on the couch and get it out of a jam with the remote. You know, and see my mom is a you know she's old enough that this is something I think could really help her. You know, she doesn't feel like pushing a big vacuum. So um, that's why I thought it would be, even though I I did know that in some ways it might be 
know, it takes longer. And uh, I didn't know that there was a tiny dustbin that was going to have to be taken apart with six screws or whatever to clean that thing. I, you know, I would have thought that it would just snap open or have a button like the big dustbin does. But but uh, now that it, now that what I know, at least now I know how to do it and what has to be done. So maybe in yonder it won't fill up as quickly. I don't know. We'll see. All right. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go ahead and go and uh, go wash my hands. Get the, I can feel the dust from... I mean, I wipe my hands with the paper towels and stuff, but I just feel like there's dust on here. But uh, anyway... Um, there we go. That's my, that's my new, that's going to be my mom's new Fin Guru FRE701 robot vacuum cleaner. At least now we have a robot. Finally have a robot. Been wanting one for a long time. All right. Now if I can get me one of those that can pick me up and off the couch and put me over in the bed and when it's time to go to bed, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> they show those in Japan. <laughs> I don't know if they still. I think they actually had some. They were actually uh, letting. Pe oh, uh, they were making it for old people, and I'm not quite that old yet. But they were making it for old people to help take care of them, and it was showing them picking them up and carrying them and doing all take care of them, you know. And I think they actually had some out on a trial basis, like a trial program, let pick certain people let them use them. But uh, <laughs> that was a few, two or three years ago now, so I don't know what they got going over there now. All right, they, we don't have them here in America. I've never seen any. They don't talk about them that much over here. I mean, they talk. You, you see it on the tech pages and all that stuff a lot, but it's not on TV or in the stores or anything like that. You know, Japan is really way ahead on on ro robots. Now, <laughs> what you do see, well, you don't see it on the TV, but what you do see here in America is uh, what they call uh, Boston Dynamics is a company that makes them. If you've watched any robot videos on YouTube, you've probably seen a big dog little dog and uh, all this stuff is military for military applications it's kind of scary <laughs> but they're kind of like a burrow that can run you know fast uh, there was one called cheetah that can run really fast like 60 70 miles an hour or something or there that's their aim i don't know if they've got there yet and they don't they're making they're making like oh and there's one that's kind of reminds you of a a bull Reminds me of a bull, but it's like supposed to be a pack horse. You know, they put stuff, heavy stuff on, have it carry it. And the big dog and little dog. Well, the little dog, I think, is just supposed to go. I don't know what they're doing with it. The big dog, you could put stuff on it. I mean, it could probably carry a couple hundred pounds. But that bigger one, the bull, I forgot what it's called, the bull, it, uh, the Bramer bull, it can carry, I don't know, 500 pounds or more. But I guess they, I always kind of thought, well, why would you want, and when I first saw them, I thought, that's cool, but why would you really want to use that? Uh, you know, why not just use a quad, you know, or something, remote control quad or something like that, or a tank, a remote control tank, small tank. But once I saw them in the videos in action, they can go over terrain that even a tank couldn't get through, you know, because they can walk like an animal. And uh, they're amazing what they can do. <laughs> so they kick them and knock them over, and they get back up. And people, first thing I thought, and for people, you look in the comments, one day that thing is going to kick you, you know, and all that stuff. Stop being mean to that robot, you know. It's funny how people, and I and I felt bad when it kicked the robot, but it's a machine, you know. And they were just testing it anyway. They weren't playing with it. But uh, <clears throat> so I'll be nice to my little pink robot. Try not to step on it when it's, uh, yeah, as long as that thing don't run up under my feet and trip me. <laughs> if it does that, I might not be nice to it. But uh, luckily it makes enough noise you should hear it coming, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go. Uh, there's, my, there's, my, there's my mom's new robot. Bye-bye.